Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you have, thank you so much. I do mostly synthetic wig related content here. We are multicultural. We are inclusive. So if that is something you're interested in, this is the channel for you. Today I am doing a video on wig brands that I think are good for women who are not of color, white women, Caucasian women, uh, women who do not have naturally textured hair. So if that's something you're interested in, let's just get to it. Before we get started, I just want to say I mean absolutely no disrespect by this video. This video is meant because I am biracial, um, I am white. Polish and I am black and so I know that there are just different things that you're gonna look for especially in a wig that you want to mimic your natural hair um, being biracial you can run the gamut with the hair texture my natural hair texture although my hair is naturally curly it is not overly textured. so I do want to share some of the things that I have learned in terms of wig companies that really get sort of the textures right in my opinion in terms of non textured non women of color hair as well as the color mix the styles um, just things like that so I want to share that so the first one that I am going to share with you is the company that I'm wearing right now this is the magic lace company this girl right, right here I do have a show and tell on her this is MLI 307 but I really love this company because a I think the color mixes are really spot-on for a multicultural situation if you are someone who is not of color, who's looking for blonde mixes, lighter mixes, look realistic, as well as like dimensional. I find especially with blondes, blondes can look super flat. Um, like this one, there's just so much color to this one. I love it. They also really have beautiful auburn and red colors that aren't just like that flat 27, flat 30. There's just so much dimension to them. I have a full magic lace playlist that you can check out down below, but that's definitely a company that I would check out. I would also check out Forever Young. I also have a full playlist on them. I do like the textures. I like the styles. And I do feel like if you are someone who is white, Caucasian, Asian, anybody who has non-textured hair, that might be a really good option for you. Next up is The Wig Company. I work with them quite a bit. I have a full playlist. I do believe that they have a lot of styles that are going to cater to women who are not of color. Um, also women who are a little bit more mature, wanting styles that are easy peasy, just put on, make their natural hair. So I do feel like The Wig Company, especially their statements line, is a really great option next up is charisma i have a full charisma playlist i just feel like charisma in general um more of their wigs are non-textured wigs but they do have just sort of like the cuts and the styles and just the wave patterns and things like that that i do believe mimic more of a non-textured non-woman of color hair again i'm saying all this in generalization but you know what i mean if you're watching this video this is there's not a lot of information on this topic so i did want to share that with you the other thing i like about charisma is their lace tends to be a little bit lighter so if you are a woman of color that could be potentially problematic but if you aren't especially if you have a very fair skin tone finding lace to match your skin tone as well can be difficult so i think charisma is a great option for that Along the lines of Charisma is Persephone. Charisma and Persephone, you get both on uh, Amazon. I do have a Persephone playlist. I actually collab with both of those companies on occasion. I do feel like similarly, they're like pretty much the same wig. Like maybe they get wigs from the same place. So you're going to have the lighter lace. You're going to have the styles and textures that mimic your hair a little bit better. So that's another option. There are a few other Amazon companies that I have been experimenting with that I really feel fall into this same category. I have uh, Hair Focus is one. Uh, everything is in my Amazon playlist, but I can't. I may actually have a Hair Focus playlist as well because I have reviewed so many. Hair Focus, uh, they they get the blondes right. I'm telling you right. They get they get the blondes right. They get the very light colored blonde right. The mixes are right. The root colors are right. So especially if you are a woman who is not of color looking for a very natural looking blonde mix hair focus is a great option and they're so inexpensive as well i've been using a company called esme as well it's i don't think i have a full playlist on them yet i have reviewed several of their wigs but i don't think enough to have a full playlist uh, but again they're going to be in the amazon playlist all of their wigs are under 20 dollars. so not only do they cater to hair styles and textures and colors that i believe would really do suit someone who's a lighter skin tone, well, they are inexpensive. So how can you lose? 
Last but not least is another Amazon company. It's called Han and I have a few wigs from them. Definitely just in the Amazon playlist. They're, they give me a mix between the Esme and the hair focus. I do a lot of banged wigs but the banged wigs like the color mixes just really work. They're really good with like the ombres, the boliage. So if that's what you're looking for um, it's definitely a great option and most of their their wigs are under like $23. Okay, that's what I have for you for this video. If you have anyone that you would like to add to the list, then go ahead and put that down below. I wanted to add ones that aren't maybe as known or as popular. Um, obviously, you're going to have like your Jean Renaults or your Gabor, things like that. But I and and those tend to be a little bit more higher end. I wanted to maybe that's how I should label this affordable. You know, more of the affordable brands. But please feel free to add any ones on the list that you think should be there. If you like these types of videos, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have another topic uh, in this area, go ahead and put that down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, thanks so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!